Okay. And then another way to work with shapes in Illustrator is to use the Pathfinder tool. So window, Pathfinder. The Pathfinder has lots of options here. Um, so let me show you a few. So if you have two shapes and they're overlapping, you can do a couple things here. So you have to select them both. Press V on your keyboard, get to that selection tool and select them both. And this will combine two shapes and make them one. I'm going to undo so I can show you this one. We'll cut away the top shape from the bottom shape. Undo. This guy will just leave where they overlap. So it's going to leave that center point. So, I mean, you can create some interesting shapes by overlapping shapes and wherever they overlap, create a shape from that. And then this one will get rid of where the two overlap. Now, the ones underneath here will do a few other things. So this, when you have this one and you click on it, it doesn't look like anything happened. But if I click off of it and I go to my white arrow tool, I can now create, this is its own shape. So I can modify this. I can change the color, like the fill, where they overlap. So that's super helpful there. Um, and then these other ones, let me just undo that. Sometimes I just have to experiment with them to see what they do. Okay. This one, it cuts away the top one, but let's see, I think, so it makes it one, but it allows you to like, so if, if I go in with my white arrow tool, like I could, I'm not sure what the point of this one would be, to be honest with you. Um, because you could just leave it as two overlapping shapes, but there must be a reason for it. <laughs> this one gives you the outline of both of them. Okay. That one cuts away the background one. So sometimes I just flip through these and press control Z if it's not doing what I want. These ones I use all the time. And then this one, especially, I love that because then you can modify the overlapping parts of that. So you could build up shapes that way. So um, for instance, with my little guy here, instead of like just adding a shape there, so I could take this shape and grab it. So I've linked them all together. I could have linked them all together using this as well, but the shape builder tool works really easily for that. But now look, if I grab both of these, I can cut away um, the shape. So it's like there's nothing behind it. So it kind of creates its own shape now and it's more of a cutout. So um, with the logo like this, this might have been more of the Pathfinder um, where it's cutting it away. But I mean, you could also fill it with a color too. So with this one though, the one I just used for the Pathfinder, I now am not sure if I can fill, let's see. I don't know if I can fill that with a color or not. Let's, no. So that's just a negative space. It's no longer um, its own shape. It's just cut out of that original shape. Now I can still modify it. Yeah. But it's, it's a cutout shape.